buffalo compete for survival on the African grassland. The big cat's aggression strategy is matched by the bovine's brute force and collaborative strength. Qualities honed over time in an evolutionary blood feud. This buffalo herd fends off relentless attacks from the resident lion pride. But they give as good as they get. Bitter envy escalates them beyond mere predator or prey. They are blood rivals. On the grasslands, breakfast is never a long, drawn-out affair. The killers usually track the breeding herd by dawn. Big Cow learned long ago to watch for danger while she eats. And the grunts and croaks confirm the all-clear from the rest of the females and sub-adults. Big Cow is one of six females with a high status. These senior cows walk at the front of the 400-strong herd and choose where to graze. It's an easy decision in the wet season. A myriad of pools and marshes pop up after the rains. Food and drink literally cover the grasslands. Just as well, because buffaloes consume a lot. In a day, one buffalo can eat enough grass to clear a front yard. Their home is a utopia, except for the resident lion pride. False alarm. It's only Big Bull and the Bachelor clan. These hefty males boost the practical defense of the ranks. They only join the breeding herd occasionally, on the lookout for mating opportunities. They're also here for the food. Buffaloes are specialist grazers. Their top front teeth are missing, replaced by a hard, horny pad for the lower teeth to bite against. But these bachelors are not showing off their dental anatomy. They're checking for receptive females. This lip curl pulls air over an organ that detects hormonal cues if a cow is in heat. There'll be no more flirting or feeding. The enemy pride is here. Big Cow alerts the herd. It's not a crisis yet. The lionesses only watch and wait. The core herd moves off. Big Cow and the senior females stand guard. They know these lions. Big Cow's had nine seasons to study their tactics. The slightest movement signals the hunt. The herd responds immediately. They must get the calves away from the lions. They'll be safe in the center of the herd. One mother is late to corral her youngster, but she doesn't fight solo for long. She can rely on her tribe. The cows rally and the lionesses scatter. The attack is just beginning. The bulls rush to defend the eastern front. It's the pride's M.O. to advance on all sides. Big Bull doesn't just wait. The bush stinks of lions. He takes the fight to them. 
His unexpected charge can buy some time for the herd. He's seen too many comrades taken by these buffalo killers. The resident pride is a formidable adversary. Four juveniles support the core hunting unit of five lionesses. And they're led by a powerful coalition of brothers in the prime of their lives. The attack will come. Big Bull just delays the inevitable. He rejoins the herd to band with his tribe against the onslaught. The Buffalo's united front is their key play against the Lions. The pesky juvenile sets Big Bull off again. This retaliation triggers a response. When all 11 lions advance, it's game on. A contest with deadly consequences. Big Bull is after blood. And the tribe follows his lead. Their dance macabre conjures silhouettes of dust devils. The chaos and confusion gives the killers an opportunity. It's often the youngest that suffer. Too small to understand strategy. But the Buffaloes are not the only losers. This juvenile will carry these battle scars forever. Enemies face off daily. It's the price the buffaloes pay for access to water and sweet grasses. Predator and prey share this territory. The best the buffaloes can do is to minimize their losses. And make it as hard as possible for the killers. Danger and death define their lives. And things are about to get worse. When the dry season hits, the sun sucks water from the grasslands. A crisis for buffaloes that must drink once a day. The choice is simple. Migrate or die. Uncommon for buffaloes, this breeding herd journeys to a permanent water hole, a full day's walk away. The mass exodus takes them out of the lion's territory. But it's a hollow victory, because here the herd risks death by starvation. Water brings immediate relief. But life at the water hole quickly becomes a compromise between food and drink.
As the days pass, the area all around is quickly overgrazed, and the herd travels farther and farther away to find enough food for 400 hungry bellies. It's a balancing act for big cow and the females to schedule enough time to eat, walk, and drink. This bleak oasis has been their annual pit stop for generations. It's the only one with enough water for them all. An adult buffalo drinks 10 gallons every 24 hours. So in one week, this thirsty herd can empty a swimming pool. Beyond the reach of the predators, the mothers are visibly relaxed. Bad times are coming, so they make the most of it now. Even Big Cow enjoys some personal time. Back on the grassland, 25 miles away, there's no rest for the killers. They are searching for food. The migration of the breeding herd robs them of their easy meals. Now, they take what they can get. Something looks interesting. Closer inspection reveals a windfall. The Bachelor Clan. The bulls don't migrate with the core herd. They don't have to. There's enough water left on the grasslands to sustain their small group of six. Totally absorbed in grazing, they're unaware of any danger. The lions capitalize on their single-mindedness to slink ahead of them and prepare an ambush. If the buffaloes don't change direction, they'll walk right into the lion's trap. The killers are ready. The buffaloes still have no idea they're about to be ambushed. One female jumps the gun. The lion's cover is blown. With a head start, buffaloes easily outrun lions. can't sustain a chase for more than a hundred yards or so. The lioness is trying to keep up, but it's a lost opportunity. They'll go hungry tonight. The breeding herd at the water hole faces the same problem, hunger. Though buffaloes are renowned for their ability to eat dry, husky grass, they can't thrive on it. Many individuals are starving. Ribs and hip bones poke through the skin, and rumps are concave, not rounded. With more sand than grass underfoot, and not enough for everyone, 
the mothers turn to an alternative food source. Ever resourceful, these females switch from grazing to browsing. Green leaves have the protein they need and go a long way to rebuild reserves. There's a knack to bending the branches. It takes practice. But mastering the skill can make the difference between life and death in the dry season. Only Big Bull and the Bachelor Clan have things a little easier right now. Food remains abundant on the grassland. And although the drinking pools shrink, there's enough to sustain the small gang till the rains come. It's a strange paradox, because while the females waste away, the males bulk up and get in shape. It's critical for Big Bull and the bachelors to focus now on the body beautiful. When the rains arrive, the females return, and it's breeding season. Size and strength determines who mates and who doesn't. Already, testosterone surges drive Big Bull to act. Mating rights must be won. Big Bull on the left has to prove he's deserving. In a clash of titans, the upstart dominates. Till Big Bull hooks a deadly headlock. One wrong move, and he'll pierce the upstart's neck. With the force of a battering ram, he proves his claim to the title. As if in reply, that evening, the heavens release their own raw power. It's the distant signal the females have been waiting for. Rain on the grasslands. Just in time. Their life-giving pool is more like soup than water. Many of the females are pregnant. They need fresh water and better grazing to carry their calves to term. The water hole has sustained them through the barren time. But now, the far off storms call the breeding herd home. By morning, there's a renewed energy and purpose in the ranks. The anticipation of a journey. It will take 24 hours to reach the grasslands. Time for a final drink before they leave. But the pool is stagnant. It doesn't even smell like water. This sludge is only good for bathing. Its cosmetic benefits are great for the skin. The thick goop suffocates ticks and biting insects. And it works well as a sunblock. But you can't drink a mud pack. It has more sinister properties, too.
Despite her calls, her companions abandon her. Weak with effort, her struggles make things worse. Her herdmates can't form a rescue party and help. They'd get stuck themselves. This is not an enemy. Big Cow can fight with teamwork. Sometimes, for the good of the group, heavy sacrifices are made. The journey home always seems quicker. The buffaloes are spurred on by the promise of fresh water and sweet grass. When the breeding herd pours onto the grassland, the bachelors are there to welcome. Big Bull and the other dominant males immediately lay claim to any receptive female. The homecoming feels like a celebration. Rich grass patches extend for miles and water flows underfoot. But the enemy also waits to welcome the breeding herd. So as they eat and drink, they stay together. Big Cow and her female cohorts take the lead with the rest of the herd in typical formation behind them. Calves walk in the middle, surrounded by the regular rank and file, and bulls guard the periphery. The lions are here. To keep safe, the herd maintains a close following distance and regular pace. In tight formation, it'll be difficult for the lions to isolate a target. The lion pride studies the herd for the first time this season. It's a momentous day for them. The return of their regular food supply. Buffalo is a welcome change from Impala. As the herd parades past, they look for any break in pattern. A misstep or irregularity that might offer an advantage. Opportunity hobbles at the end of the line. Invalids and older herd members always lag at the back. To the lions, her limp is as vivid as a target. She'll be easy to hunt as she falls behind. But the herd doesn't give up on her. Big Bull heads back to offer moral support. He leaves another adult bull in attendance. leg can't go any faster. Now it's a waiting game. The lions can afford to be patient. 
The crippled buffalo isn't going anywhere fast. Every hour that passes, the gap between the cow and the breeding herd increases till they're too far away to send a rescue party. It should be an easy kill. In spite of her injury, the cow fights bravely. If she can stab her attackers or toss them onto the ground, her odds will improve. Like a whirly, she prevents the lions from locking on. One lioness capitalizes on her weakness. And it's all over. The first sacrifice of the season is made. Now blood also flows on the grasslands. The buffaloes move forward. It's the only direction that matters. Life is indifferent to their loss. Yesterday, the herd said goodbye to a comrade. Today, they welcome a new member. The mother is in pain, but she doesn't make a sound. She can't draw attention to the birth. If the lions discover her, she and her calf could lose their lives. Her herd mates know she's in labor, but their attitude is business as usual. They don't crowd around or make a fuss. They support her best by continuing to graze. Big Bull stays nearby to defend if necessary. And Big Cow and the senior females watch for danger. But essentially, this commonplace miracle is a lonely process. A final contraction, and gravity and momentum do the rest. The newborn arches her neck to help her mom. Mother and daughter meet for the first time. Their bond will last for years. The little female will grow up in the breeding herd like her mom. She'll learn its patterns and receive its protection if she survives. Between 30 and 70% don't make it. To increase her chances, her mother removes all trace of the birth. She eats the evidence. Next, she has to ensure they keep up with the herd. It's critical for her calf to stand and walk as soon as possible. When her companions move on, the mother is torn between her baby and her herd. Her instinct to rejoin the group is stronger than her urge to nurse or even finish cleaning her baby. Luckily, 
the little female keeps up. And now that she's proven herself, she's welcomed by the rest of the cows. Others take notice too. They won't attack now. She's too well protected. But in a few hours, when the sun sets, the killers will have a distinct advantage. The dark night turns the tables. A reflective layer behind the retina gives lions acute night vision. These lookouts won't detect their faint shadows. The entire pride searches. It's easy to sniff out the herd. Big Bull is suspicious. He issues a warning. Then, an alarm. Too late. The lions are everywhere, ready on all sides to panic the herd. off the bachelor clan. Big Bull fights back. Females with juveniles are no match. Big Cow realizes too late it's a diversion. Big Bull is not the target. They want the new one. When the calf falls, Big Cow launches a mob attack. Big Cow is angry. Backed by her tribe, she keeps up the attack till all the lions are banished. Battered and bruised, the killers retire, and the calf survives her first night. There's a tangible energy to the killers this morning. Frustrated and hungry, they up the ante. A buffalo bull has the meat of 15 calves. The mission is simple. Ambush a bachelor while the clan is away from the herd. Big Bull and his companions anticipate a clash. Battle lines are drawn at the river. The bulls defend the west bank. The killers reply, 11 strong. The confidence of Leo collides with the stubbornness of Taurus. If the bulls hold the river, 
They'll prevent the lions from reaching the breeding herd. It won't be easy. The Prides got their big guns here today. Both Pride males. Big Bull is not about to surrender the river. If they can keep the lions busy, the core herd has more time to move to safety. The Buffalo clan holds firm. It's the oldest standoff in nature. Predator and prey. Hunger versus life. When Big Bull drives out the pride males, the battle ends. The buffaloes live another day. Safe from lions for now, the breeding herd grabs some R&R. With a zen-like calm, these gigantic beasts hunker down to regurgitate and re-chew their food. Packed so tightly, no killer can penetrate the phalanx of horns. Chewing the cud is only one part of their digestion. They have a food factory to extract the most from their low-quality diet. In the stomach, bacteria ferment the grass where it's partially absorbed. Digestible liquid moves on while the solid cud ball pops back into the mouth to be mechanically broken down further. And one substance keeps this production line greased and efficient. Saliva. A buffalo secretes more than half a gallon of spit a day. It's one of the reasons they drink so much. Downtime is important socially. It's a chance to strengthen bonds and it builds cohesiveness in the herd. Avian neighbors take advantage of this easygoing side to their nature. Oxpeckers exploit buffaloes for more than just a meal. Key life events like courtship and copulation take place on their hosts. Ticks are their food of choice, but they eat an assortment of bodily excretions. Blood, earwax, dandruff, even mucus forms part of their diet. Buffaloes slip into such a deep meditation, they don't seem to notice the intrusion. The hitchhikers pick and pluck all day, and even sleep over on the buffalo's backs. The lions don't make an appearance. Big Bull enjoys a rest. He'll need it. 
He's about to fight the battle of his life. The Lions have been marching since dawn. Yesterday's defeat hit them hard. Today, they're a step ahead of the Bachelor clan. They anticipate their arrival in the Grove. Bingo. They've hit the jackpot. It's Big Bull, and he's totally alone. This will take careful preparation. Each lion has to maneuver into the perfect ambush position. They have time. Big Bull doesn't know they're here. The closer they get before they attack, the greater their chance of success. They can't outrun him, but they can overpower him and silence him before he alerts the herd. Big Bull is completely blindsided. He tries to call out, but he can hardly breathe. The pride male clamps his mouth shut to smother him. It's critical to stay upright. But it takes huge effort with a lion as heavy as a refrigerator around his neck and eight more straining at his rump. He needs help. His thick skin can't shield him indefinitely. One juvenile tears at his anus. Another tries to snap his tendons. The lions are pulling him apart. At last, the reinforcements arrive. And then, disaster. The herd spooks. Abandoned by his tribe, Big Bull collapses. The lions are on him like ants. Teeth and claws pierce every inch of his body to pin him down. Alone and upside down, he's at his most vulnerable. He lacks the strength or flexibility to right himself. But he's not alone. His battalion didn't withdraw. The group displays the greatest quality of buffaloes. Strength in unity. It takes the threat of being gored to move the lions. Big Bull isn't quick enough to leave with his comrades. He calls them back. The lions have not surrendered. His bachelor clan responds immediately, and Big Cow also joins the vanguard. This time, their advance is decisive. They bulldoze the lions away.
big bull, a brave leader, is snatched from the jaws of death and returns to the ranks. Another small victory against their blood rivals. Tomorrow, there will be more battles and more deaths. But all for one and one for all, the Buffaloes will survive.